Right. Hi, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. And this is Brandon with Believe in the Run. Brandon, what do we got here? The On Cloud Runner. All right, before we get going, Brandon, what do you want people to do? Ooh, like and subscribe to the channel, you know, all that fun stuff. Watch this video and then watch it again and then go back and then rewatch it a third time. Send it to friends and family. Yeah, make sure you send it to your grandma. She wants to know about this shoe. Yeah, this is a great grandma shoe, yeah. by the way. Here you go, Gina. I don't know, I didn't run in it. Probably, but it probably is. We'll <laughs> find out. <laughs> it probably is. All right, so Brandon, you put miles in this shoe. I did. And uh, you're gonna tell us what you think of it. First, let's talk about the shoe, what it's for and what its intended purpose is. Okay. This is Ons budget, Daily trainer. Whoa! When you say budget, mm. when you are you saying this is like a low cost on it, compared it, to other on? It's an, it's a low cost on, but it is not a low cost daily trainer. The price actually comes in at one hundred and forty dollars. So for an on shoe, that's like pretty respectable, and it's not that far off for a daily trainer. It is. Year. I mean, that's about like twenty to you know twenty five bucks over what I think the I mean, standard for, trainer is around one hundred and twenty. The word budget kind of should throw it like into that Kinvara zone mm. in terms of pricing. You know, if you want the uh, little O N there, then you're gonna pay for it. I so. heard someone call it QC this weekend. Oh, <laughs> can I have the QC? They bought a pair of QC shoes. Someone, someone, people go into stores and they're like, "Can I have the OC?" OC, I ask that, that a lot too. too. Like the OC. Let's get into the upper. The upper is just a very standard engineered mesh upper. It also has these welded overlays, which provide a little bit more support and lockdown around the midfoot of the shoe. It also adds more protection to the shoe. The upper isn't really that breathable per se. It doesn't look breathable. No, it really isn't. But it's 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 a thick, it's a warm upper. It kind of reminds me a lot of like Asics uppers and like kind of how they operate in that same way. In terms of fit and lockdown, I actually had no issues at all. Like the the fit is actually really nice. So. And if, comfort. Exactly, it's really comfortable, like just from an upper perspective, it's really comfortable. Sometimes it's just know like- don't about the technology though, let's break that down a little bit. You got this speed board down here that the cloud tech, and that's what they call their midsole, cloud tech attaches yeah. to, which typically makes their shoes a little bit on the firm mm -hmm. side. But what's interesting is there's no Helion foam in this one. When we talk about the midsole and a lot of the premium on shoes, there's typically like a layer of Helion foam that kind of runs through the foot. In this one, you're just getting that normal cloud tech. Like we said before, it's a budget daily trainer. So you're not going to get all the bells and whistles that you'd probably get in some of the premium race day on shoes. Let me ask you a question about this cloud tech. Mm -hmm. In the past, when I've run in the shoes that aren't using the Helion foam, the Helion foam is slightly softer, slightly bouncier. You don't really feel like the holes look like you get this like cushion mm -hmm. and bounce. Did you feel that in this shoe? No, I mean, it felt kind of rigid. It felt a little clunky. It felt like not traditional to what I was. Okay, so I just came off of running in the on cloud monster. So like coming back to this, it was like, I was like, I was really rooting for on with the on cloud monster. I was like, oh wow, like they really came out with a great shoe and they really figured it out. And then I put this back on and then I was like, I mean, it's, it's you know, you pay for what you get Yeah, sometimes. I mean, the OnCloud Monster was a special shoe. Lots of cushioning, yeah. lots of Helion exactly. foam, top and bottom. It just was a really nice experience. Yeah. This is what sure. uh, previous, I'm probably a little more familiar with, with on is this kind of promise of cushioning with the Cloud Tech, but just turns out to be pretty much a firm shoe, basically because the platform is on top of what they have to attach the Cloud Tech to, which is their speed board. Typically you think, okay, well there's plates and shoes, wouldn't that work the same way? With this speed board, it's kind of just a plastic hard board. Right, it, and you know, there is actually one or two big saving graces in this shoe, and, and you, you don't really get any ground feel in this shoe, which <laughs> is nice even though it is a little bit of a denser, more firm foam that we have here, because you're off the ground so much, there's actually quite a bit of protection when you're running. So from a durability perspective, from a long lasting running perspective, you're actually gonna get a lot of miles out of it and it's still gonna feel a little bit more comfortable than you'd probably expect out of an, an on shoe. Where it gets close to the toes here, mm -hmm. that doesn't look like a lot of stack underneath. There, it the actually toes. does feel quite like 
you, you still protection. feel like there's like a lot of protection and there's still like a decent amount of stack there like right. for you to roll through, which I, I actually was like really happy about. Any problems with grip in the outsole? No, honestly, I had no problems with grip or outsole. I mean, you can tell that like, generally like I don't love a lot of outsoles for on shoes because of the geometry and the makeup of the shoe. I just think it's a recipe for disaster. Overall, your running experience in the shoe and would you recommend it or what would you compare it to? It was, well, it was okay. I mean, it's not bad. It's kind of like a Brooks launch, um, which like isn't the most exciting shoe in the world. I would recommend this shoe for like new runners. Like people who are just getting into the sport and really want to wear a pair of ons and you want to try them out, but you don't want to like splash a ton of cash on like a bigger name shoe like the on cloud monster or you know spend money on big race day shoes and you just need a daily trainer. So like a basic daily trainer. Yeah, like this is fine. In other words, you like the style of on, you like to sure. run a little bit, and you also like to go do other other activities. activities. Like yeah, like Go wear these to Pilates or spin yeah. class or something. Overall comfort under your foot, like just walking yeah. around. I mean, they're fine. Just walking around, like they'll they'll add enough comfort to your day. So I wouldn't. No knocks there for sure. But I will say, it's not that light. It's a pretty heavy shoe. What is the weight? So for a men's size eight and a half, it's actually three hundred grams or ten and a half ounces, which is pretty heavy for a daily trainer. So. Yeah, hey, that is it. It's for a size eight and a half. Yeah, I would say so. Like that's getting mm -hmm. up there. Like on my size, yeah. that's probably well over 11 ounces. So what's the drop on this? This actually has a nine millimeter drop. So Brandon, according to our magical light system, what do you give this shoe? I think it's not a terrible shoe. It's not the best shoe, but for what it is, I think it's uh, a yellow light actually. Well, thanks for the review, Brandon. Also, if you want to hear more from Brandon or see more stuff, best way to do it is subscribe to this channel. Yeah. Subscribe to this channel. Hit that alert bell. Like this video. Do check all us out things. on Instagram. Yeah. And you can check out our Brandon and our Robbie what? and our Megan doing reviews all the time. Yeah, so. we're gonna cut that part. All right. <laughs> but all right, let's just let's just wrap this up because this is so bad. <laughs>